Most people were expecting Jazz or Ironhide when the new Recruit episode was announced. In Season 2, Smokescreen wore the face shifter on his right arm. In Season 3, however he wore it on his left arm. Smokescreen was originally thought to be left-handed but is now implied to ambidextrous, having no dominant hand. Smokescreen's first paint job had 38s like his G1 counterpart. Ultra Magnus, Wheeljack, Smokescreen, and Bumblebee never used built-in melee weapons. Smokescreen never used melee weapons. Smokescreen bears similarities to Superboy from Young Justice as both are young warriors originally dressed in white and later adopting a darker color scheme trying to impress a powerful hero dressed in red and blue. Though Superboy was more aggressive than Smokescreen. Coincidentally, Superboy and Smokescreen are both voiced by Nolan North. Of all Autobots, Smokescreen interacts the least with the humans. Smokescreen is the only, main, Autobot in Prime to have not appeared in any of the novels or games in the aligned continuity family. This version of Smokescreen is the most popular among the fans. Smokescreen is the only individual to have defeated the Apex armor. Smokescreen was the last Autobot to see Predaking in the show. Smokescreen has been addressed as, Kid, by nearly all the Autobots except for Optimus and Ratchet. Bumblebee has been called, Kid, as well. At the end of Predacon's Rising when Optimus is about to sacrifice himself for Cybertron he states that every Autobot is worthy to be a Prime. However, before Optimus takes the plunge, he is seen looking at Smokescreen, implying that he still considers Smokescreen to still be the most worthy to be the next leader. Many fans, consider Smokescreen similar to Hot Rod, due to him being of a young age, nearly being a Prime admiring Optimus and being Optimus' protege. The name Hot Rod could not be used due to trademark issues. Smokescreen's alt mode is an Indy 500 race car with screaming double 38s on the side. Many fans have noted its similarity to a McLaren MP4-12C and Lotus X Siege. His robot mode has also elements of this alt mode before he came to Earth. Smokescreen's helm design implies he is a descendant, or related to Optimus Prime. The name Smokescreen was originally given to a character from Season 1. However, the character was renamed Cliffjumper and was killed in the first episode. Smokescreen is the only Autobot to have saved Optimus Prime in more than one occasions in the most severe situations. When he saved Optimus from being slayed by Megatron with the Dark Saber, he managed to pull Optimus out of the destroyed Autobot base from being captured, and when Optimus died from his wounds and Smokescreen chose to place the forge on Optimus' hand to save him. Of all the Autobots Smokescreen doesn't always follow protocol and does what he believes is right even going far as to save his comrades when he went back to the former Autobot base to save Optimus. Smokescreen is the only Autobot to have saved a potentially dying Autobot. 